We get a lot of questions from customers about using pre-emergence in the spring, particularly with post-emergence. The answer is not an easy one, and it depends on a variety of factors. First off, a spring pre-emergent application is essential to prevent summer weeds, and a post-emergent application is essential for eliminating winter weeds. The problem that we run into in the springtime is that the temperatures are still generally too low to do a post-emergent application. So it's best to do a pre-emergent split application and then do your post-emergent application in between. So your first spring pre-emergent application can be done before your soil temperatures reach 55 degrees. You can wait a couple of weeks, wait for the temperatures to get to 65 degrees or higher, not to exceed 85 to 90 degrees. Then you can do your post-emergent application. It's a good idea to do a split application with your pre-emergence to give you extended control throughout the season. So for example, let's say you have an established warm season Bermuda grass lawn and it's the end of March. You can go ahead and do your first pre-emergent application, wait a couple of weeks for temperatures to get to 65 degrees. Then you can go ahead and spot treat your turf safely following the instructions on the product label of the selective post-emergent that you choose. Normally, the soil temperatures in the spring that are the best time to apply a pre-emergent and not be too late to see results are still too low for a post-emergent application to work. However, your winter weeds have already germinated and they're still coming up. There are a few cool temperature product exceptions. You just need to be sure that you're reviewing the product label to be sure that your grass is tolerable and it's labeled for the weeds that you're targeting. You don't want to overstress your lawn, so spot treating may be the better option for your first application with your post-emergent. Then, when you do your second application with your pre-emergent, it's possible that you could tank mix your pre- and post-emergent products and do a broadcast application with them at the same time. You just need to be sure that they're compatible and you read the product labels to be sure that there are no tank mixing restrictions with the products. If you're going to mix your pre- and post-emergents in the same solution to spray as a broadcast, you would get a more effective application doing this in the fall rather than in the spring. Your local cooperative extension office can be a great tool in helping you to identify what types of weeds and grass you have. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to check out our other videos that we have on pest control and lawn care. If you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to our professionals on our customer service line. We're always happy to help out.